Hey guys, what's up? This is Mac in Computer Help, and today I'm going to be going over new features in QuickTime in Snow Leopard. Now, there's quite a few um, new features in QuickTime, and first off, I'm going to be going over the new recording features. Now, QuickTime has three new recording features one is movie recording, second is audio, and then third is screen recording. Now, the audio recording um, pops up like this. Um, right over here, you choose where you want it to save, and then you just record. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I'm recording in QuickTime. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I'm recording in QuickTime. So, as you can see, good quality there. Um, now to a movie re movie recording. Uh, um, right over here again, you can choose the quality. Um, I'm gonna put it at high. And um, this is kind of slow because I have another screen recorder going right now, so it's not quite as fast. Um. Yeah, it's really slow. Um, but, okay, when I put it small, it's not quite so slow now, but I'm just going to do a little recording right here. But I'm just going to do a little recording right here. So... Um, as you can see, good quality. Um, I record all my intros with QuickTime with the movie recording. And this is my favorite feature of the recording is the screen recording. Because before, I don't think there's any free screen recorders for the Mac. So this is a great screen recorder. Um, again, you choose where you want to put it, um, the quality and everything. Um, you can't choose if you want a part of the screen. I think they could have probably added that in but you just hit the record button and then it um, has this stop recording up at the top and then you just hit start recording so just gonna open up finder here um, have a little action here um, and then hit stop recording and this is quite good quality recording too. Um, so just gonna open up Finder here. Um, okay, well that's all the recording features. Now I'm gonna go over the interface features. Um, you can tell. Let me put this in the middle here. Um, if you see this little like toolbar at the top, um, when you play it, just gonna you open up away, it disappears. Here. Um, and then when you put your mouse back on, it reappears. So this is a very sleek design. Um, I really like it. And then another new feature is for trimming it. So just like in the iPhone 3GS, it has the same user interface. Right after you record it, you can trim it down to just a small portion or you can trim off the ends like when you go up to click stop and trim the intro off and then you just hit trim and then it's all trimmed away just gonna open up right there fine. and so now when you're done editing it you can upload it straight to YouTube um, you type in your username and password or you can export it to iTunes or Mobile Me. Now, depending on what quality you have, it'll show you whether you can put it on the computer or Apple TV or if you can just put it on the iPhone or iPod. And then you just hit share and then it'll ex start exporting it to iTunes. Now, that's all the features in all the new features in quick time in snow leopard um if you like this video please check out some of my other ones and of course please subscribe thanks for watching